Hello, let us explore. This is Mama. And this is Papa. Yeah. Uh, so today we are going to talk about Spain. Are you ready to go there? Let's go. Oh, wait. But in Spain, nobody speaks English. What do they speak? They speak Spanish. Oh, so how do you speak Spanish? So, what do you, I want to say hello? You say hola. <gasps> And what if someone do nice thing to me? You say gracias. Oh, which is? Thank you. Wow, that sounds so cool. So, let's go. Today, our first stop is the Castillo at Barcelona. We call it the Sagrada Familia. It's the newest building we'll see today. But actually, it started its construction 140 years ago, much older than your grandma. Inside, it feels like a magical forest made of stone. The architect Antoni Gaudi designed it. Inspired by the nature, such as trees, flowers, and animals. Sunlight shines through beautiful windows, making colors dance all around. Bye-bye, Sagrada Familia. At the city Barcelona, go to the fresh market can be a colorful and a tasty adventure. When you visit the market, you will see so many different kinds of fresh and local foods. Meat, fish, shellfish, vegetables, fruit, well-cooked dishes, and of course the desserts. Even make pigeons wonders. What should I eat tonight? After Barcelona, we come to another city at south. We call it Seville. This is Seville Cathedral the third largest church in the world. The golden color ceiling makes the cathedral not only big, but also beautiful. Look at the bell tower of the cathedral. You can climb it and see stunning views of Seville. Have you ever heard the beautiful sound of bell ringing from a cathedral before? Here's it. Have you ever heard about Christopher Columbus? He was a famous explorer. He crossed the ocean and found a new land. He changed the history. But now, he is resting here, right in front of your eyes. Bye-bye, Seville Cathedral and Columbus. Moving on, we are going to the Alcazar in Seville. Alcazar means palace in English. A palace is where king and queen used to live. The Alcazar at Seville is the oldest royal palace still in use. Its walls are decorated with beautiful patterns and shiny tiles, like a puzzle of colors. Can you find all the different shapes and colors? Bye-bye, the beautiful Alcazar. There's another beautiful place worth to come. It's called Plaza de España. It is a place that shows the entire culture of the Spain. Nowadays, people like to gather there and enjoy the arts. And there's one thing that you definitely don't want to miss out. It is flamenco. Flamenco is a special kind of music and dancing that comes from Spain. When people do flamenco, they use their hands to clap. They also stomp their feet on the floor, creating a cool beat. Spain is not only magical for your eyes and ears, it's also a great place for your tummy. 
And I want to share some of my favorites. One of the best things is the ham. It's made from a special type of pig called the Iberian pig. They eat acorn from the oak forest. That's why they're so yummy. Hanging ham on the ceiling is a Spanish tradition to keep it dried and preserved for a long time. The ham is sliced into small pieces and served on a plate. Wow, this is amazing! Another delicious treat in Spain is called gazpacho. It looks like just tomato juice, but actually they have garlic, onion, olive oil, vinegar, and salt in it. And sometimes it's hard to say it's a soup or drink. After a nice meal, we arrived at a small city close by, named Cordoba. Let's go to the Mask Cathedral of Cordoba. It's the oldest building we are going to see today, and it was built more than one thousand two hundred years ago. People used to go there to pray and feel close to their heart. Inside. You find big, strong pillars and beautiful arcs. The red and white part is the arc. Guess how many pillars do they have here? Can you imagine? Over eight hundred pillars here, like a whole big forest. This is one of my favorite plays of this trip. And bye bye, the Mas Cathedral of Cordoba. Our last stop is the city Granada. Guess what? We have a cathedral here too, called Granada Cathedral. But it's very different from the Mask Cathedral at Cordoba. This one is a masterpiece of Renaissance style, which means it uses a lot of clean lines. The white color of the building makes it looks bright, clean, and peaceful. Last but not the least, we go to the Alhambra. In Granada, Alhambra means the red one in English, because the original building are in the red color. It was built on a hilltop. It's a multifunctional area. It can be a palace, can be a garden, can be a fortress, and even can be a concert hall. Look at this funny hook. What is it? They were used to be a hook to park horses. Yes, nay, nay, horse. Imagine ten horses standing there straight in the line, like a parking lot. The most amazing part of the palace is the water system. You can hear the tranquil water sound wherever you go, like a meditate. When the sky gets dark, the lights on. And the palace, like a beautiful lady, change her dress even more stunning. Look, what's that? Are twelve little lions arranged in a circular formation? There's water coming out from their mouth. They represent the strength, power, and nobility of the royal family. My little explorer, we are so happy you see so many things with Mama and Papa. We miss you so much on the way, and we wish you enjoy the trip with us. That's all of it. Bye bye, my little explorer. And Mama and Baba is on the way back. See you soon. See you soon. Adios. Adios.